Hey there, sign of Pisces. My name is Kim. I'm going to do your reading for the next 48 hours. A little quick tarot spread, the Celtic Cross. Thank you all so much for your likes, shares, comments, and subscribing. Um, if you want a private reading, that's listed in the description box below. And let's get started. So, calling in Pisces Angel Spirit Guides, Higher Self, Higher Power. Let's get messages there for their greater good only. What is the issue, please, for our sign of Pisces? Woo! All right, I'm going to take that as the issue, and this as the uh, challenge. All right, actually, I think this is like this, because it was coming out kind of like this, and it, to me, I can read it easier that way, um, because there's the Ace of Pentacles being the issue, needing to find this pathway that leads to a, a good number of Pentacles, to your prosperity, time of abundance. And the challenge might be that you're not alone in this, which actually might propel you forward to know that you're not alone in this and that's what this uh, reading is starting off to be about the fact that you're not alone in this issue of trying to reach your uh, pathway that leads to your pentacles you could be dealing with a earth sign or virgo let's look at the um, root cause Woo. all right root cause queen of swords and the king of wands in reverse all right, give me just a second. All right, so I'm thinking that this might be your energy right now. Uh, somebody who's maybe not, I don't know, who has their eye on a target, right? So she knows what she wants. And I'm wondering if she has any, if she's left any options on how to create what she wants because it's like she's, I don't know if she's staring up at this pentacle, like I'm going to, I'm going to get this or if she doesn't know that it's there yet. And the king of wands, when he's in the reverse like that, then he's not quite as um, a very inspired person at the moment. Maybe not even feeling like doing much, maybe not even feeling like being motivated. And that might be the issues. We've got two different types of characters going on here. We do have masculine and feminine. <sighs> One is passionate, but not acting that way. The other one is almost seemingly cold, stoic. Maybe that's their defense. All right. It could be a fire sign with a air sign. All right, Pisces, let's look in your recent past. All right, recent past, we have wealth. Okay, and the lovers in reverse. There was like a decision that wasn't so great that was made about your finances. Maybe with another person that you don't work with anymore or you don't have a relationship with anymore. Maybe. But I definitely think there was a bad decision made about some finances. Maybe it was between a couple too. Maybe that's why this is like that. Let's look at the present situation. Woo, good. Okay, so we're working on this. Okay, things are in the works. Things are trying to get better. We are all acknowledging that we're actually got our eye on the, I think she's looking up here at that pinnacle. I think that she's really got her eye on the prize. She just needs somebody else or this energy needs somebody else in the equation to be as just to, you know, as inspired as they are to do something out of this. Something's in the works, three of pentacles. People are getting along and we have some cooperation. So you're not expecting everything to be here at once because you know that something's in the works. All right, the future position. Ooh, queen of wands. All right, well, this is good because this is like changing that king of wands energy. So right now, if somebody's not passionate, you're going to either end up meeting somebody who's just as passionate as you, being a queen of wands bold risk taking this also says the public defender on it that's just how they classify somebody that's you know bold attractive um risk taking likes to be in the limelight likes to be right in the center of attention all right could be an aries this could be an aries too or leo all right libra gemini aquarius gemini and virgo all right, how are you feeling? So, how are you feeling? 
Well, you're feeling like you can see clearly now. Coming from a place of not really knowing if you could even trust yourself. Things were just not seemingly true. People weren't acting like themselves with that King of the Wands in reverse. So yeah, we have the Seven of Cups, but it was in reverse. So there's definitely something that um, you have your eye on. Once again, focused and not cloudy or muddled at all. So that's great. What is your hopes and fears position? Pisces. Okay, so either we are really fearing a new start, maybe something that the Queen of Wands can give us or help us with. Um, we're fearing this new start because it does take a leap of faith. And I think until something is a little bit farther, you might not want to take that leap of faith. I think that the reason it landed reverse, though, on the Queen of Wands is because that energy is going to help turn it around. All right. What is the projected outcome at this point? Oh, goodness. Three of swords. Well, four of pentacles. This is past hurt, past loss. I think this is something you've already been through, right? So this is the heartache. This is the heartache that is left around, that's left behind, that has not been processed yet. Not all of it is probably gone. And of course, it does take us a while to work on ourselves and how we feel when we're feeling like somebody really betrayed us. And it might have been a third party situation. I'm not really sure. It can be, it can be about loss too, you know. Uh, the Four of Pentacles, though, is certainly a really good card to get right next to the Three of Pentacles because that's your work paying off and you being able to invest in whatever it is you're starting. You see that building, the tower, it's like the tower foundation that's being built up. It's like the tower in reverse. Four of Pentacles. All right. Let's move on. Let's move on. We have competition. Arguing, petty arguing on the bottom. All right, let's do some spell casting cards for you. I'm feeling like that because all in all, the energy I'm getting off of this is good. Even though I'm saying a few cards that might be ugh, I don't think it's anything you don't know is gonna come and I don't think it's anything that you don't know, you know, really how to handle already. You know what I'm saying? Like been there, done that, and know how to get past it. Just haven't yet. Just have it, and maybe that's why you're just not quite ready for a new beginning, a new start. All right, guys, let's get you the spell casting deck and see what it has to add to this reading. Then we're gonna close. We have manifestation. That's that where that power and investment's coming. This is something you, you're creating. You have the eye on the target. You have a clear mind, and you know that you're gonna manifest something like uh, that's in the works right now. Probably already in the works. Passion. Look at that. Passion. You need to get this passion back or you need to find somebody that has their passion back or maybe getting the passion back in your own relationship might be one of the issues. Psychic abilities. Nice. And commitment. We have commitment came out again. Maybe it's commitment to your manifestation. Maybe it's commitment to another person. For, or maybe you're not wanting a new start or new beginning because you have feelings of commitment here. Have willpower, guys. Have willpower. All right, Pisces, thank you for joining me. Sending you love and light. I hope you got something out of this for you. Bye.